Okay, so today we're looking at the new Glock 19X, uh, one of the newest 2018 models coming from Glock. Now, of course, let's make sure we're unloaded. I did unload this before the video, just to make sure. So, this is one of the newest model, uh, 2018 models coming, one of the first release models at this year's 2018 SHOT Show, which is, like I said, the 19X. Um, it does run, as I would say, the Gen 5 platform, although this 19X definitely runs um, its own style of, of frame. It's, it's a little odd for some of you that don't know. It has the 17 grip, so it has the longer grip on it, but it has the 19 slide. So. It's a lot of people thinking it was done backward in a sense that the um, that the, the slide should be a, a 17 slide with a 19 grip, allowing it to be more of a concealed carry model. But um, if you do know about the 19X, this was the the 19 MHS modular hand system that was given to the bid for the United States military. Uh, for their army contracts, which did lose to the 320. Now, the only difference between this model and the uh, MHS 19 is that it is lacking that ambidextrous thumb safety, although it does still have the ambidextrous slide release on each side, um, and it is running uh, like the Gen 5s have been running, similar to the Gen 1 and Gen 2s, no finger grooves. Um, but besides that, your only biggest difference between this 19X and the 19 Gen 5 is you're just getting this longer grip, the 17 style grip with a 19 slide. Now it does also have the flared out mag wells, which does make it a little bit easier for uh, for doing some mag changes and stuff like that. And then one thing that I just don't understand is the uh, the little loop, little keyhole here. I'm not really sure why why that's there, but it does look like you can take that off if you wanted to just put in a regular um, base plug or something similar to that. Now this one does have the Enforce weapon light on it. Um, of course, this does not come with it. This is an aftermarket part that we used uh, for shooting today. But other than that, um, yeah, very similar to the Gen 519. Was a very smooth shooting gun. I did enjoy shooting this gun. Um, very accurate. Uh, it's definitely comfortable. I, I At first, I was a little skeptic of um, having this, this longer um, this longer grip with the 19, but but I, I think it really worked well, and I do have the adjustable back strap on here as well. But um, very smooth shooting gun, um, very comfortable to shoot, nice round capacity with the 17 round mag it does come with. Um, but overall, I'm definitely a fan of it. I know a lot of people not liking this, saying this was a stupid model, a pointless model to come out, but do remember this was designed solely for the military bid. Um, since they did not get it, now we're seeing it on the consumer market, minus the ambidextrous thumb safety. But other than that, solid. I like it. I would definitely recommend getting it if you're a fan of shooting blocks. If you shoot blocks regularly, you'll like this gun. Very recommended. Very good shooting gun.